Malaysia is a tropical country which is full of different kinds of natural resources. This has made Malaysia become such a beautiful and wealthy country. The bamboo, also known as bamboo se, is a kind of plant that usually grows naturally in forests. It can be found in the forests of Kedah, Kelantan, Perak, Selangor, Terengganu, Sabah and Sarawak. The bamboo symbolizes the harmony between nature and human beings. The noble bamboo is a symbol of old age and modesty. They can grow in dense grubs which showcase their resilience and integrity as even when they bend to strong winds, they return to their upright positions effortlessly. With the development of society and the progress in cultural life, bamboo can be used in a variety of products such as clothes, food, shelter, transportation, instrumental, decorations, handicraft, and even supply daily necessities. Bamboo has been used in architectural art since long ago. The profession of bamboo handicraft making was first invented by the Chinese people during the New Stone Age. Ancient people wore large bamboo hats to protect them from rain and bamboo shoes to walk on muddy roads to avoid from slipping. One man who has experience in making bamboo handicraft is Law Hop Ho. He has been committed to this field for more than 70 years. Uncle Law has started this bamboo basket weaving profession since the year of 1944, when he was only 14 years old. From World War II, Uncle Law was trying hard in making bamboo handicrafts. The daily routine as a bamboo maker is uneasy and extraordinary. First, Uncle Law enters the forest full of natural growth to cut down and collect raw bamboo. To choose a right bamboo isn't easy for a beginner. However, for people with experience like Uncle Law, he can easily recognize the maturity period of bamboo and the qualified bamboo for handicraft making. Bamboo can be easily found in forests. But how does Uncle Law differentiate the bamboo that satisfies the requirements for bamboo handicraft making? Is he able to discover the qualified bamboo? The bamboo is a fast-growing and durable, graceful and strong plant. For good quality bamboo products, Uncle Law has to find the right bamboo that is more than two years old. A qualified good bamboo is without fur along the bamboo stick because that will definitely make people feel itchy after touching it. The maturity of bamboo depends on the appearance of the leaves. The light green leaves represent the younger age of bamboo, which is not qualified for bamboo basket making because the quality is too tender. On the other hand, the darker color of a greenish bamboo is considered better quality for bamboo handicraft making as it has achieved the criteria of toughness. <laughs> Uh, 
老老了就食咯，许煎个食看会出来啊，就长个许啊，煎个食我看会出来啊，地公差不多像啊。After all of the process of cutting down bamboo, Uncle O keep all of the leaves and unused remains of bamboo sticks away. Uncle Law's actions show his concern for others, as the sharp and thin sticks may cause injury. Uncle Law will cut down the bamboo into a certain length, which is measured by using his own measurement ruler made of bamboo, then carried back to his workshop. Bamboo is a kind of environmentally friendly plant. People have been utilizing it in many ways because of its low cost material. 啊，站得七八站咯，站了卡济是用车载咯，卡少用摩托载咯。啊，好了，要回家了。From the forest, Uncle Law starts the process of cleaning the bamboo. bamboo down into small pieces into different sizes and length. Uncle Law starts the bamboo thinning process where he will ensure all the bamboo used in handicraft making are of equal size. the bamboo into two parts, the skin and the inner parts. The skin is tougher and it's not easy for it to bend during the bamboo basket weaving. Uncle Law 
Therefore, bamboo baskets made with the bamboo skins are usually sold in higher prices compared to the ones made from the bamboo inner parts. This is also because bamboo made from bamboo inner parts will not last long. It is dangerous while thinning the bamboo as one can easily get hurt by its tiny sharp edges. The length of a thin bamboo depends on the size of the product itself. There are various types of weaving skills. Different sizes of baskets are formed by different skills. It is time consuming to fully weave a handicraft. Uncle Law will spread the water drops to the thin bamboo while weaving to enhance its flexibility. An expert of bamboo handicraft making can easily complete the final product in a few hours based on the experience he has gained. Uncle Law has come to the end of weaving the product. How long has Uncle Law taken to finish up a handmade bamboo handicraft? An expert of bamboo handicraft making can easily complete the final product in a few hours based on the experience he has gained. Nowadays, the demand for bamboo baskets is low because the market is competed by plastic baskets. The costs are low but the labour charges are high due to bamboo baskets being totally handmade. Uncle Law has finished the product by decorating it beautifully. Uncle Law said he will never apply anything on the outer layer of the bamboo basket once it is done, but he says it is better to apply a layer of diesel to prevent insect bites. Customers normally walk in to purchase the bamboo products. Lao 一百回人呢,是不嫌贵。啊,是讲人不白白的,人不嫌贵。那如果是人不白白的,人不白的,就白的,人不嫌贵。我再讲,我们也很难,我们也很难。我们也很难。我们也很难。我们也很难。我们也
World II period, bamboo baskets were cheap and in high demand for each family. The housewife used the bamboo baskets while purchasing their daily necessities and the farmer used the bamboo baskets to carry their fruits and vegetables. Now, the main customers of Uncle Law are fruit farmers. Making bamboo handicrafts has become a large part of Uncle Law's life. Making bamboo handicrafts in his earlier age was mainly to earn living expenses. Nowadays, it has become an activity in which he spends during his leisure hours. <laughs> Uncle Law has asked his son to inherit his hard work as a handmade bamboo basket maker, but his son refused to do so. It comes to the question here, is there any among the younger generation willing to inherit the profession in this era?